how our upbringing influences our approach to love. The way our parents interact with each other provides a foundational blueprint for our own romantic behaviors. Observing their dynamics, whether harmonious or conflictual, subtly instructs us on what to emulate or avoid in our personal relationships. Family dynamics during our formative years significantly shape how we communicate with partners. If raised in an environment where open dialogue was encouraged, we're likely to adopt a similar communicative approach. Conversely, witnessing poor communication can lead to withdrawal or aggression in our interactions. Our childhood attachment styles, whether secure or anxious, stem from early interactions with caregivers. These patterns profoundly influence how we connect emotionally with romantic partners in adulthood, affecting everything from trust building to how we respond to their emotional cues. Exposure to parental conflict resolution methods can set expectations for how disagreements should be managed in our own relationships. Witnessing effective compromise may teach us resilience and understanding, while exposure to unresolved conflict might normalize withdrawal or confrontation. The type of support and affection we receive from our parents often informs our primary love languages. Those nurtured with physical touch and words of affirmation, for instance, are likely to express and seek love in similar ways in their romantic relationships. Sibling interactions during childhood play a significant role in shaping our perceptions of competition and fairness in romantic relationships. Those who grew up with siblings often learn how to negotiate, share, and resolve conflicts from a young age. These early experiences can mirror the dynamics they seek or sustain in their adult relationships, valuing fairness and equality. Families that experience instability, such as frequent moves or parental job losses, can affect children's views on trust and security in their future romantic partnerships. Individuals from such backgrounds might either become overly clingy or detached, as their early environment conditioned them to expect inconsistency and unpredictability in relationships. Parental divorce can leave a lasting imprint on children, often affecting their views on commitment and marriage in adulthood. Witnessing the end of their parents' marriage might lead them to be cautious or skeptical about entering into long-term commitments themselves, fearing a similar outcome. Cultural norms within a family deeply influence individual dating preferences and relationship behaviors. Depending on cultural expectations, individuals might seek partners who align with specific traditions or who are approved by family members thereby upholding familial desires over personal choice in their romantic lives. The extent of parental involvement and control in one's life can significantly impact the selection of romantic partners. Individuals with overly involved parents might either rebel by choosing partners who are distinctly different or might feel pressured to select partners who meet their parents' approval, impacting the authenticity of their romantic choices. Witnessing domestic violence during childhood can profoundly affect an individual's approach to relationships. Exposure to such trauma may lead victims to either replicate abusive patterns or become overly cautious in partner selection, often seeking those who provide a stark contrast to witness behaviors. The experience of early bereavement or loss can deeply influence one's capacity for attachment and intimacy in adult relationships. Those who have faced such losses may struggle with fear of abandonment, potentially leading to either clinginess or a reluctance to form deep emotional connections. Family values surrounding honesty and openness often translate into how individuals conduct themselves in romantic relationships. Growing up in a household where transparency is valued can lead individuals to expect and contribute a similar level of openness in their own romantic engagements. A nurturing versus neglectful upbringing can have a significant impact on a person's self-esteem and subsequent behavior in relationships. Individuals raised in nurturing environments are more likely to exhibit confidence and healthy interdependence, whereas those from neglectful backgrounds may struggle with self-worth and trust issues. Parental attitudes towards sex and intimacy play a critical role in shaping their children's perceptions and behaviors in their own sexual relationships. Open, positive discussions about sex can lead to healthier sexual relationships, while a more repressive upbringing might foster feelings of guilt or anxiety surrounding sexuality. 
Our parents' financial habits often lay the groundwork for our own approaches to money and relationships. Whether they were savers, spenders, or a mix of both, these early observations can profoundly influence how we budget, save, or invest with a partner. Family religion and spirituality play a crucial role in shaping our values and ethics within relationships. These beliefs can dictate everything from the expectations around marital roles to the ways in which we resolve conflicts, impacting our romantic connections deeply. The mental health of our parents can leave a lasting imprint on our emotional resilience in romantic relationships. Growing up in a household where mental health issues are prevalent can teach us coping mechanisms that either hinder or help our relational dynamics. Families that frequently moved or experienced significant changes in location can affect our adaptability in relationships. This mobility teaches flexibility and resilience, qualities that are beneficial in managing the ebb and flow of romantic partnerships. Our parents' career priorities can serve as a model for balancing work and personal life. Observing them navigate their professional and romantic commitments can profoundly shape our expectations and management of similar situations in our own relationships. Family traditions play a crucial role in setting the tone for how we celebrate holidays and special occasions with our partners. These ingrained practices shape our expectations and can either harmonize with or clash against our partner's own familial customs. In a supportive family environment, individuals learn effective conflict resolution skills that are vital for managing disagreements in romantic relationships. Conversely, an unsupportive family background might leave one ill-equipped to handle partnership strains, potentially leading to escalated conflicts and unresolved issues. Did your upbringing shape your love life? Share your story, good or bad, in the comments below. It could help someone else.